my struggle to survive continues. Tonight, Van Helsing and Gibbons destroyed another box of my sacred earth of Transylvania. But this time, I may have destroyed them also. boxes of his native soil that we know of. And so far, we've destroyed 13. Your grandfather would be proud of us. Oh, grandfather, Hanyan. Is shoulder bothering you? No, no, Hanyan. Give me more flack about how much we're using of the department's computer. Kurt, why don't we tell him who we're looking for? For the same reason we can't tell the police. They think we're a couple of loonies. Well, Kurt, looking for a vampire, are you? That's fascinating. Do you mind cleaning out your desk and using another university's facilities? The computer find anything new yet? Not yet. The cross-referencing takes forever. It took us three weeks to end up at that barn the other night. What? Uh, it's a professor of Eastern European history. He teaches down at South Bay College. So? Apparently, he only teaches night courses. Perfect course for the Count to instruct, huh? Sure. He lived in Eastern Europe for 500 years. So you can see that Crown Prince Rudolf was still anxious to spread his wild oats. And it was difficult to blame him. Princess Stephanie of Belgium was about as exciting as a stale glass of beer. <laughs> and very nearly as flat. <laughs> Poor Prince Rudolf. Made quite a scandal of himself that night in Vienna. His wedding feast. New Year's Eve, 1888.
The palace of the Emperor Franz Joseph was beautiful. The candlelight made the gold leaf on the carved woodwork seem to glow from within. The magnificent crystal chandelier caught this flickering light and scattered it prismatically like a thousand diamonds. Fragrances of many exotic perfumes filled the air, commingled with the clean smell of starch and the stiff Prussian army dress uniforms. The women of the court were attired in the most exquisite gowns of velvet, deep shades of burgundy, violet, midnight blue, tiny seed pearls embroidered upon the rich material in layers. Gold and precious stones crowned their heads and tiaras and draped in stunning strands around their beautiful necks. It was on that night of his wedding that Rudolf met a most beautiful and enchanting young girl, Mary Vetsara. When I recognized Mary in my class, I was surprised to feel a certain pleasure within myself. I am becoming intrigued with her. There is some obsession in her eyes which fascinates me. Her eyes sparkled with desire and yearning for the dashing young prince. In one week, they would be lovers. In one month, they would be dead in each other's arms in the hunting lodge at Meyerling. We will continue on Thursday. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, come on, don't leave us hanging. We want to know what happened. Thursday. It's such a romantic story. Yes, but so tragic. You really have a knack for making the past come alive. I want my class to be interesting. Your description of the Imperial Palace on that New Year's Eve made me feel as though you'd actually been there. Really? Yes. Okay. What about that one? This star is Alberio in the constellation of Cygnus the Swan. See, it's on her head, her two wings, and at the tail is Dine. Isn't Cygnus also referred to as the Northern Cross? I prefer to think of it as a swan. I'm beginning to think that you know all the stars. We haven't pointed to one yet that you can't tell us about. Well, I've done a great deal of stargazing in my time. In fact, I have just come across my old telescope. Would you like to look through it? Perhaps have some wine. Yeah, that would be terrific. Okay. <laughs> Are you coming, my dear? You live nearby? Yes. going to school back east, but uh, you missed the fog, huh? <laughs> it's been really beautiful the last few nights, hasn't it? Do you think it'll be too foggy tonight to see the stars? Hey.
arriving at Le Mans. I come from old money. <laughs> it's lovely. You've been teaching at the university all semester? Yes. You seem very popular. Your students are quite drawn to you. And you? I'm curious. Indeed? About your background. Your origins. I think you know a great deal about me already. Don't you, Mary? Your new hairstyle is very flattering, but it is not really you. So, you and the young Van Helsing escaped again. My compliments. You are good survivors. Will you tell me something? What is so important that you cannot leave me in peace? You killed my mother. Who was your mother? Amanda Gibbons. I will tell you something, young lady. In my lifetime, I have known many women. I have loved only a few. I loved your mother. You love nothing, except the darkness. The night, yes. But you misunderstand. I do not love the night and the darkness. I am condemned to it. Do you know that I have not seen the daylight for 512 years? Can you imagine living that long and never seeing the blue of the sky? Never seeing the reflection of the sunlight on the sea? Would you not long for those things if you were deprived of them? When this curse was first placed upon my shoulders, I thought I would go insane. I tried to tear my own heart from my bosom. But gradually, I grew resigned to my destiny. There are many addictions, you know, alcohol, drugs. But the most potent is the addiction to life. To be alive. However lonely it may be. Your mother. Brought me warmth and understanding like few I have ever known. Who taught you that the constellation Cygnus the Swan is also the Northern Cross? My mother. As I thought, she loved the stars. Knew a great deal of astronomy. Many times, we lay beside each other in the heather, gazing at Hercules, kneeling in the heavens before us. She was a loving and gentle woman. Your mother, Amanda. <laughs> And you killed her. But I did love her. But you killed her! There is a passion within me which I cannot control. 
a passion to live, to possess. I should like to possess you, Mary. will be of no further help. In a few moments, the broken fuel line in his car will rid me of him permanently. I'm not sure. Oh, let me help you. Kurt, you're bleeding. Well, my head hurts a little bit, but I think I'm all right. Are you okay? I'm scared. And I'm tired of running. I'm oh, sorry. You got away from me on the road, and, and, uh, and there was a fire. You told me. They did something to your car. Oh, I never should have let you try it by yourself. He never even bothered to deny who he was. Kurt, he knew me. Those students, they must have been bitten at least once. Maybe twice. He controls them. He 
carried me to his room. It seemed like a nightmare. But I knew better. He was looking at me. Staring. I, I looked for something to hit him with. Anything. A, a lamp. has suffered a fate as ignoble as the one he has long planned for me. Still, you have much to learn. Such faithfulness will soon bear the fruit of the craving that grows within you. But the girl... Ah, Mary. So like her mother, Amanda. You should have let us have her. She is of concern only to me. Ah, Desdemon, Othello, my beauties. You stay. Come, I must get to the crypt before the infernal dog drives away our time together. one, and he has the good fortune of a thousand mortal. He is hurt. Mary is with him. They will seek attention, medical help. I cannot linger. You must destroy Van Helsing. And remember, he must appear to have died at the hands of the living. And the woman? Mary will be back. You will excuse me now. Please, let me stay. To say good night. No bedtime stories, please. These hours hold no good night for me. This is my bitter cup. To spend the beautiful moments of light in a dark void. Soon you will not have to spend those moments alone. I will be like you. And I won't order further medication until I get the report on the skull series. You think there may be complications? No, I don't. But why take a chance? Is he wired into the monitor, nurse? Yes. The pattern's normal, doctor. Good. The heart monitor is just a precaution. He's been through quite a physical trauma, and we want to make certain there are no complications. Just see that he stays quiet. You probably sleep a lot and quite heavily. And if you need anything, ring. located his house. But we haven't. Well, we can't be too far from where you found me. I was running so fast, I didn't know where I was. Hey, hey. 
I'm not going to let you get that close again. Not without me. He spoke about my mother. He's victimized so many, Mary. He seemed almost remorseful. She was a loving and gentle woman. Your mother, Amanda. <laughs> and you killed her. But I did love her. I didn't expect that. Save your pity for the people he's destroyed. I don't need all this equipment. I, I've got to get out of here. I've got to find those students. They could lead us to him. And to the rest of his coffins. Do you know that I have not seen the daylight for 512 years. Can you imagine living that long and never seeing the blue of the sky? There are many addictions, you know, alcohol, drugs. But the most potent is the addiction to life. To be alive. However lonely it may be. Are you all right? What? Are you all right? Fine. You get some rest now. Portable x-ray machine needed in room A, door four. Orderly, please deliver. Thank you, Dr. Broder. Well, how's the patient? He's asleep. Oh, that's good. The cafeteria? Downstairs. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Dr. Werner, Dr. Franz Werner, please report to Nurses Station 15. Dr. Werner, Nurses Station 15.
Look, I'm fine. I gotta get out of here. You're not going anywhere, young man, until the doctor says so. And until your x-rays come back, and they haven't come back. And that's that. We've got to stop him, Mary. We've come this far. Those students are the best lead we've had. I can't just lie here. Don't worry. I'll check the registrar's office and see what I can find. All right? All right. Let's be sure you're home before dark. Van Helsing. Mary. You know that she's trying to destroy you. Thanks to her, Van Helsing is still alive. Once again, he's free to hound you. She will not save him again. Soon she will be devoted only to me. But I am already devoted to you, my prince. Tell me where she is. Do not be a petulant child. She was at the university this afternoon. Seems to be the trouble, officer. Yeah, you ran that light back there going like a bat out of hell. That light was yellow. I know the color red when I see it. You know, you guys get one of these $20,000 jobs and you think you own us all, body and soul. All right, let's see your license, bud. Wouldn't you know, the one time... Well, I'm gonna have to write you up for that, too. Yeah, let's see what else we can find. All right, out of the car. All right, move it! You're not from around here, are you? No, and your reception does not exactly make me feel welcome. Well, we can't have you feeling unwelcome in this neck of the woods, now can we? Now, hands in front of you. It's a car. Oh, rats, spread them! Hello? Hello? Who's 
there. I saw somebody come out of my office. I was afraid it was one of them. What am I doing here? You're supposed to be in the hospital. Well, I just had to get back. The x-rays were okay. You were supposed to be home by now. I know, I know. I just lost track of time. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. I found this. I couldn't find anything on the students, but I found this on one of the cards. Mortuary supplies. Perfect place to hide a coffin. With a lot of other coffins. Well, not you. You're going home. <laughs> Door is locked, and be careful. You too. I believe you stalled it, my dear. Do not be frightened. I will not harm you. You have my word. Your word? Yes. It has honorably withstood five centuries, but if you would feel more comfortable, bring your cross. I'm sure you have. I never leave home without it. So much about you I do not know, and yet there are qualities that I have admired in others. The courage of Mary Queen of Scots, the grace of Pavlova, the beauty of Anne Boleyn. Before or after she lost her head over Henry. The king was a lonely man. You two have a lot in common. You think nothing of human life. You are wrong. There is nothing so dear to me as life. Endless life. Which is mine to give. Do you think you're some kind of a god? Mary, I want you to listen to me very carefully. How would you like to be alive 100 years from now? As young and vital as you are at this moment, 200 years from now. To behold the earth in 500 years. Beyond. Is this what you told my mother? Before you killed her? She lives on in you. Don't you understand? I am offering you something that no one else can. Immortality. Like the eternal sea. I know you are beginning to feel it. No! Mary, do not struggle. You are partially mine already. No. It can't be. I got away.
I let you go, but not before I placed my mark upon you. When you fully comprehend the gift that only I can give, I will be waiting. Disobeyed. She wants to destroy you. She must die. I have already chosen her fate. And death plays no part in it tonight. love you as I do. She isn't worthy of your gift of immortality. I'm the only one who knows how to please you. You look pale, my darling. I want to be yours completely. Deliver me into darkness tonight for eternity. You speak of eternity as if it were some extended garden party. To be together forever, to live, to love, to partake. The path to immortality is fraught with clever foes like Van Helsing, men who devote themselves to our destruction. You are young, Antoinette. Possibly with time you will earn back the trust that your little escapade has cost you tonight. But only then will I take you back. Perhaps. How would you like to be alive? 100 years from now, as young and vital as you are at this moment, 200 years from now, immortality, like the eternal sea, think of it. Do not struggle. You are partially mine already. No, I got away. I let you go, but not before I placed my mark upon you.
You are partially mine already. comprehend the gift that only I can give. I will be waiting. Fancy desecrating graves now, do you? Oh, that's disgusting, that uh, is. Listen, Mr. Uh, Murphy, I know this looks pretty strange, but there is an explanation. Hold it. Another step and you'll be peeling your belly off that wall behind you. Well, listen, uh, my great-great-great-grandfather had a jeweled cross that they say was blessed by Cardinal Richelieu, see? And it was supposed to have healing powers. Well, what's that got to do with the price of tea in Dublin? My grandmother is very sick, and uh, she believes that the only thing that can save her is that cross, which was in Europe until last week. So? So, my uncle doesn't trust the mails, so he shipped the cross to a coffin maker friend of his in, in Dubuque. Uh, put it right in with a crate of bronze coffin handles. Uh, see, my uncle manufactured... This story smells as foul as the fisherman's fingertips. This coffin maker hid it where he was sure no one would look inside one of his coffins. But uh, there was a mix-up, and somehow the coffin got accidentally shipped here. Do I look daft enough to believe a bandage and chewing gum story like that? Well, you think it'd make up a story like that? Yes. Well, maybe I can prove it to you. Well, now, that'll clip a few feet off the tall tale you were telling me. But be quick about your business, and check with me on the way out. I don't want you sneaking by me with one of these coffins on your back, either.
Van Helsing. It seems that we can be in our last meeting. <laughs> what a pity. You were an admirable opponent. Poor Van Helsing. This time I am the cat, and you are the mouse. <laughs> Now you know what it feels like. Your grandfather stalked me like a cat for years, always one step behind me with a wooden stake, ready to plunge into my heart. It was his persecution that drove me from my homeland. And now you follow his lead like a hangman's apprentice. You may not believe this, Van Helsing, but I do not enjoy taking your life. It is something you force me to do. You have written your own fate. You scum! Your perspective is as small as your lifespan. I have lived 512 years, my friend, and they have been full years, rich in culture, experience. Your life compares to mine like a grain of sand to a beach. You have no life. You know only death. Death? Death is something I will never know. That unpleasant privilege is reserved for mortal men, as you shall discover soon enough. going to miss you, Van Helsing. You have added a touch of intrigue to this era of my life, like a good chess match. Eternity can drag on so without a good challenge from time to time. Mary! Mary has arrived just in time. Mary, get out of here! Kurt! Mary, come join us. to know that she will watch you die without lifting a finger to help you. Mary, come here. Tell me he'd bitten you. Honestly, Kurt, I didn't remember it that way. I should never. 
never let you go in there alone. It's going to be all right. I won't let you near him again. You can't imagine what he's really like. But he already has a hold on you. No. No, that's not true. There he it's did. not true. In the warehouse, for a moment, yes. I'm one of them. He's been no, here. No, no, Harry, no. Not from being bitten once. In all my grandfather's notes, whenever Dracula decides not to kill, it takes at least three times for the conversion to be complete. We can still fight it. You'll never have to surrender to him again. You sure you're all right now? It's driving across this bridge. It always gets to me. Your mother, huh? one of his moves, like this bloodless homicide in Sausalito. We can't even tell the police. They think we're a couple of... It's all right. No, come on, come on, come on. I haven't got all day. Now you can both be wrong. This missing cousin of yours. You, know, you did say cousin, didn't you? Uh, yes, yeah. cousin uh, James. Well, he might just have taken off someplace. Now, one lost uncle of mine uh, once wired us from Alaska ten years later. Can you beat that? <laughs> yeah. Made himself a bundle mining silver up there. Oh, no, Did James. Believe it? Uh, no. Oh, no, no, he, he never leaves without telling us. Well, uh, you never know. Oh, there he is, all yours. Be right back. Right. The marks are different. They're closer together. It wasn't Dracula. I could end up doing something like this. Never. Make sure the bedroom window's locked. I know. What do you want? Only to see you again. We can meet in a public place. Certainly there can be no harm. Remember last night, I kept my word. I also saved your life. You know we must talk. The Yariba. You know where it is. I've been there. Mary. Yes? be waiting for you. You're not going, Mary. He killed my mother. This is the best chance to trap him and find his coffins. Mary 
Mary's vision is expanding. She is now beginning to realize how minuscule a human lifespan really is. And her narrow-minded friend Van Helsing is rushing blindly toward his imminent mortality. But Van Helsing does not give up. He stalks me like a zealot seeks the Holy Grail. His preoccupation with the pursuit makes him bold, yet careless. And now he dangles over the abyss of his own destruction. Time. I'm 90 years old today. What do you think of that? You are still a child. Play Moscow Nights. afraid of his own shadow. Desire? He was always afraid that he would meet the same fate that befell his father. Exactly. Ah, I remember Moscow. There were always bells in those days. And marriages. And funerals. You remember that? How could one forget such things? Hey, piano player, do you know Peg of My Heart? Boom. Peg of my heart. Make my heart say. How about ha giving me a private concert? You like to neck? You have no idea. I'll be right back. And then, then we'll wait and we'll follow.
servant Van Helsing. Together we will destroy you. before you regain consciousness. What do you want? We have a common goal. You and I. The destruction of Dracula. But you're a... The vampire. Yes. But I'm not like him. Tell that to the corpse I saw in Sausalito. I don't live as I do by choice. I detest what I've become. Dracula did it to me. I hate him for it. Somehow I don't find that very consoling. I don't want your admiration. I want to help you destroy Dracula. I know his habit. His needs, his weaknesses. You're mortal, you're no match for him. Come, we must get to your friend as quickly as possible. No good. I saw them drive away together. You saw his apprentice drive away in Dracula's car. Then Mary's still there with him. Not necessarily. The Aeolian Harpy tuned in A flat major. It's quite a repertoire. She's 
Scott Joplin? Chopin? I have had considerable time to practice. They were very much alike, Joplin and Chopin. Each a brooding and unhappy man. Each largely unappreciated in his time. You knew them both? No, I never had the honor of meeting Joplin. If I had, he might be composing still. Let me take you someplace where we can talk in peace. The noise and the smoke here foul my senses. I don't understand this at all. I... I'm sitting here talking to you like we were old friends. Perhaps you are beginning to appreciate the value of being alive for a thousand years. I feel like Faust, selling my soul to the devil. Mary, immortality can be yours, with strengths and passions beyond mortal imaginations. But you must choose it. I will not force it upon you. Why don't I fear you now? Because there is nothing to fear. Mars? There, below Castor and Pollux. A red beacon in the sky. Near the end of the 16th century, Kepler became obsessed with that beacon. He could not understand why it never seemed to be where it should. I remember his drawing diagrams for hours at a time. It nearly drove him crazy. You remind me of Kepler Mary. Blinded as he was by preconceptions of what should be. Kepler could not understand Mars because he thought all planets must travel in circles. And then one day, it occurred to him Mars moves in... in an ellipse. For the first time in 2,000 years, the universe made sense. Van Helsing has you thinking in circles, Mary. Mortal blood is a mere inconvenience to me. I do not live to partake of it. I partake of it to live to experience everything there is to appreciate in this world. This is the life I offer you. You make it sound so enticing. It would take more than a mortal lifetime just to tell you what I have seen, who I have known. I have so much to share with you, Mary. Why me? imagined you to be. Just as my life is different from how you imagined it. You can be part of my life. You can be forever young, able to experience to the fullest your every dream. You 
can be immortal. But you must decide what it is that you want. Without detracting from the sincerity of my love for Mary, I must admit that I find great satisfaction in wooing her away from Van Helsing. For the second time I have absorbed her essence, an exaltation such as I have known only a few times in the past five centuries. I can almost taste the passion of taking her for the third and final time. And then she will be mine. insane with fear for her, unless he has been clever enough to find her at Antoinette's. And if he has, I am certain that my able apprentice has disposed of him for good. You 
saw me fall. afraid to face you. I'm ashamed of what he's made me. Oh, my God. I've never stopped loving you. I've watched you all these years. of being a vampire. His will no longer controlled me. Only then did I realize what I had become. And I tried to fight it. Dead is not the same as living. My life is sordid. An endless repetition of disgusting bloodlust. And I can't stop, no matter how much I hate it. I love you, Mary. You must listen to what I'm saying. Dracula was born in a different age. A different moral climate. It was easier for him to accept vampirism. Human life was of little value in the 15th century. You will be tortured by your conscience for the rest of time. You must resist. I don't know how. You're mortal. You must defend that. You must. I'll take care of Dracula. But first, we must find a safe place for you. And you can't leave it. What about Kurt? I'm fine. Heard it all? Everything.
supposed to take care of her. She will never love you as I do. What? Van Helsing came in. I knocked him out. But then some woman came. She threw me across the room like I was a pillow. When I came to, they were gone. What did this woman look like? I didn't really see her. She's taken Mary to the mission of San Miguel. Call Christina. Tell her to go there. And tell her to be careful. This woman appears to be working with Van Helsing. She has already killed Daryl. Above all, nothing must happen to Mary. Let me help you. Call Christine. wants you to kill her. What on earth are you doing up so late, sister? I just had a dream about a troubled child, Mother Angela. And I found her in the sanctuary. I've asked her to stay with us a few days. I hope it's all right. Your premonitions are going to drive us into the poorhouse, Sister Teresa. Oh, she's so frightened, Mother Angela, so terribly frightened. You see troubled souls as clearly as others see the light of day. Of course it's all right. Mary, this is Mother Angela. You are welcome, my child. No one will harm you here. Thank you, Mother Angela. Eternity is just a word. With you, it's a poem. And so, after ten years, you have returned to side with my enemies. It's just to protect my daughter. You must know that Mary and I... Oh, yes. I can't blame you. She's lovely. But you and I... You placed me in an awkward position. Mary is not merely a whim. I am in love with her. I thought perhaps for one night we could relive our love. You might come away with a different perspective. Amanda. 
I've brought some of my native soil to place next to yours. Pass the day with me. Please. Where we first slept. Mm. Mm. Say. memories these crumbling walls contain. We were so carefree then. That was love's gift.
trying, Von Helsing. Hey, you and I both know she's already dead. If she's in there, let me hear her voice. She cannot answer you, Von Helsing. She is burning from the rays of the sun. She isn't burning alone. Are the chases made you callous, Von Helsing? I know Amanda isn't in there. Now whose turn is it to be destroyed by time? How can you be so sure? This door didn't lock itself. Amanda kept her promise. A promise that will only serve to torment you, Von Helsing. Mary's death will be a constant reminder. Von Helsing? Are you there, Von Helsing? Van Helsing. You move so quickly. From lie to lie. Oh, Van Helsing. Mary's life is in great danger. Her only danger comes from you. And she's safe, where you can't touch her. Safe? <laughs> safe, Van Helsing? The mission of San Miguel? It is no fortress against the jealousy of Antoinette. What do you mean? I gave the order to take Mary and to keep her until I call. And if I do not call... I don't believe you. Van Helsing. My concern for Mary is as great as yours. If you open the door, we can save her. Don't be a fool. Open the door. You've lied before. Van Helsing, are you willing to take that risk? Are you willing never to see Mary again, Van Helsing? Antoinette has tried to kill Mary once before, Van Helsing. She will delight in another opportunity. Only I can stop her. Van Helsing, open the door. Open the door, Van Helsing. Van Helsing. You can never win, Van Helsing. You are too mortal. Understand. I must see Mary. Her life is in danger. Mr. Von Helsing, I know that you're genuinely concerned. Now, Miss Gibbons is deeply troubled. But you can rest assured that she is perfectly secure here. I don't want to sound patronizing, but this is beyond your experience. Well, how do I know that you won't do her more harm than good? Please, sister. Th there isn't time to explain. Well, the Mother Superior will be available presently. Now, if you'll just be seated, Mr. Von Helsing. Please, Mr. Von Helsing.
you'll just show me the way. It shouldn't be much longer now. Keep everything locked. Don't worry. I'll stay with her until you return. Thank you, sister. I've got to find her mother. She's the only one that can help us. I'll wait for you outside. I want you to get some rest. I don't feel tired. You need to sleep. Kurt, we could be immortal. It was my mother, Kurt. I saw her. She's so beautiful. I know. I could be like that. He wants me to. We could be together. You and me. We could stay just the way we are now. No, Mary. Not us. I won't allow you to be bitten the third time. I won't let him make you into a vampire. I love you. Comforting to know that I have been missed. See what my passion has yielded. I was nearly consumed. 
I am cursed and condemned in every language they do not understand. Even the most foolish have other souls to share their lives with. My solitude is too rarely shared with another. Drink, my friends. It is from the finest of Napoleon's vineyards. Drink. Drink. Christina, what are you doing here? I have failed you. Mary lives. What are you saying? I tried to kill her. We were supposed to protect her. But Antoinette said that you wanted... Antoinette will pay for this little game. It is fortunate for you that you have failed. What irony that fact has followed my fiction. Where is Mary now? What is it? Who's Mother Angela? Oh. oh, the girl is in, in great danger. It is time for your Vesper sister and bed. I can't leave her. Mother, I, I can explain. We're no longer living in the Dark Ages, sister. But I promised her young man I wouldn't leave her. I will take care of her. But you must go to chapel and then to bed. You will watch her. No one will harm her. Good night, Sister Teresa. Mr. Van Helsing will be here very soon.
she is mine, Amanda. Not yet. And you will stop me. If I have to. She has become insanely jealous of you and of the fact that I wish to share my life with you. But she is my mother. She is our enemy. have another chance. Mary, do you love me? Yes, Mama. Then you have to do what I tell you to do. He has bitten you twice, Mary. Your soul is partially his already. We must reverse the process. You have to physically reject his contamination. A little drop of holy water on the skin every hour to force a reaction. It will be very painful, but you must do it. It will take all the will and strength you can find, Mary. Physical cleansing is the first step. We have yet to purge your soul. Mr. Van Helsing says it's the only way she can be cleansed of the curse. Oh, not another. Please, Mary. No! You need the iron to replenish your blood. Here. I'm going to open the curtains, Mary. No curtain. Please. You have to face the light. Uh, 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 it's all right, Mary. Uh, You're doing fine. What do you know? You just sit there and give orders, dude. Do that. Shut up. Oh, oh not another. Oh. oh, what do you know? Oh. Sit down. Oh. Give up now. You're How many times do I have to listen to this? Oh. You won't give up now. Your body is How many times do I have to listen to that? Oh, oh, oh. I can't. I can't take it. Please. Think about your mother. Her pain is forever. Is that what you want? Ah! <gasps> 
Let me take you someplace where we can talk in peace. The noise and the smoke here foul my senses. I don't understand this at all. I, I'm sitting here talking to you like we were old friends. Perhaps you are beginning to appreciate the value of being alive for a thousand years. I feel like Faust, selling my soul to the devil. Mary, immortality can be yours, with strengths and passions beyond mortal imaginations. But you must choose it. I will not force it upon you. thinking in circles, Mary. Mortal blood is a mere inconvenience to me. I do not live to partake of it. I partake of it to live, to experience everything there is to appreciate in this world. This is the life I offer you. You make it sound so enticing. It would take more than a mortal lifetime just to tell you what I have seen. Who I have known. I have so much to share with you, Mary. Why me? Mm. I am in love with you, Mary. Heed your instincts. Don't be afraid. Just as my life is different from how you imagine it. You can be part of my life. You can be forever young. Able to experience to the fullest your every dream. You can be immortal. But you must decide what it is that you want.
All right. It's over. It's all over. It's all right. Oh, please, Kurt. No. no. We've got to find out. days to recover if dracula gets to her now then all her pain is for nothing but she's so drained do you think i enjoy watching my own daughter suffer there's no choice if mary's going to free herself from dracula's will then she's got to free one of the spirits he's already taken what i've never read about any ritual like that i'm talking about her life i'm not talking about ritual she's so emotionally and spiritually bound up with Dracula. She's got to renounce him. There must be other ways. No. No. When she drives the stake in, she'll see the pain of vampirism give way to the peace of mortal death. That vision will sever the ties more than anything you or I can say or do. All right. 
The first thing tomorrow morning... She's got to release the vampire spirit while it's conscious. Before dawn. All right. She'll be safe in the crypt. Trust me. me to be safe. Don't worry. Yes, don't worry. I will take care of you. that you can keep me away with that tiny irritant. Listen to me, Mary. The very soul depends on your doing exactly what I say. No. No! You're not going to kill me. Do you understand? You're just going to free me from Dracula's curse. Dracula's estate and find 
find his journal. It's hidden somewhere in a secret compartment near his study. You'll find the locations of his muffins. Destroy them. You ask me to kill you. I'm already dead. Give me the peace I crave. Amanda! It won't be long before he's in here, and when he is, we'll both suffer. I can't! You are consigning your soul to an eternal hell, and at the same time, you're condemning me. I can't! You'll never know the pain I've endured day after day. I've watched myself killing like a crazed hate it. And I can't stop myself. I don't want to lose you again. It's an act of love. Save me, my sweetheart.
We won't fail you. It's time to move on. You must take care of my other coffins and of my native soil. I want you to pack up my papers. They are in the vault. What will you need for travel? Assemble a set of documents bearing the name Matthew Dmitriev. You will be transporting your recently deceased cousin Matthew by charter flight over the polar route. You know the time requirements. Sleep well, Dracula. When you reawaken, all will be ready for you. Dream of me. Just got to be here. Well, keep looking. I'll check some of the other rooms. In. Well, they'll all have to be destroyed. When night comes, he'll probably move on. We've got to get him while it's still daylight. We'll start with the coffin downstairs. foolish enough to stay here. Use the holy water. Come on. We've only got a few. 
few hours. same process you did. We can come back for her later. Adam Defarge would feel right at home here.
Gradually, I grew resigned to my destiny. 